how we can integrate toolbar insights how we can integrate toolbar uh, insight activity main using navigation components let's get started let's look main activity layout we have a now host fragment and we, uh, we have a one toolbar in this project but when i click this uh, go button as you can see our uh, action bar didn't change but uh, this changes with fragment a fragment e i mean we want to change this dn uh, dnm text uh, to our fragment like this fragment b and fragment c and as you can see we have a, a back arrow button in here I mean in this tutorial in this tutorial video we will learn how we can integrate uh, back handle uh, press with navigation components and now I want to create one more project project name it's not too much important we can write test and yes our project is ready but uh, first of all we have to add our navigation components uh, implementation you can uh, find this now uh, this implementation code uh, inside the internet or uh, you can go to the my github repository you can access this code from my github repository also let's add implementation and now we can click the synchronize now and yes as you can see uh, now version has a updated version let's update quickly we can change just this number like this and click again to synchronize now and as you can see our uh, error is gone actually it's not an error it's a notification okay now i want to create uh, two fragments And yes, our fragments are ready. And now I want to create a, a navigation Android resource file. Select navigation and give a name. My nav. And we will add a three destinations in here. First destinations is actually it's a main destinations. B and see like this and we can give us uh, some actions using these dots and inside the activity main i want to delete this text with instead of instead of i want to add a one toolbar drag and drop our workspace give some constraints using these dots and of course uh, okay this is a constraint layout and I want to change this width not this number it will be match parents and also I want to add now host fragments like this select my nav we created before and yeah okay our activity main is ready and now we can uh, keep going with our main activity dot key a uh, key t file this is the important part we are starting to save the world first of all i want to add our action bar for the this just where i said support action bar find me by id r dot id dot toolbar and okay we added uh, our action bar but before added uh, action bar we will change we have to change our uh, tema i want to change this tema team dot App content dot lights and no action bar like this
let's look quickly as you can see our uh, action bar is here but uh, if I were uh, if I delete this code and let's check uh, how how it is as you can see there is no uh, there is no text in here first of all we write this code and I forgot to open our data binding permission let's open quickly and inside fragments e i want to add a one text one button and change this layout type to constraint layout and we will add data binding inside this layout go is to second b fragments okay and inside the b fragment b fragment layout delete this text view i add a button add data binding and change this frame layout to constraint layout add some constraints change this text Going to see fragments and Antly inside the fragment C delete and and change. And actually, we don't need to add a button in here thanks for is okay for me yes inside the fragment first of all we have to uh, define our binding parameters first of all private var binding and yes i define it uh, our binding parameters uh, i don't want to spend too much time uh, for define some uh, some value some parameters inside the own we have created function binding dot button dot <coughs> set on click listener right now controller dot navigate r dot id dot action e to be okay uh, first thing uh, we will make on this b fragments first of all we have to define our binding parameters and inside on we have created function binding that button to that set on collect listener navigate r that id that to see okay and inside the main activity as uh, we write this code before but we have to write some other codes well now controller equals to find now controller r dot id dot fragments container we have and while config equals to app bar configuration now controller and now controller dot grab and define binding parameters in here also binding activity and of course we have to change this I mean we have to add uh, binding in inside our activity main 
activity main binding binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate layout binding dot root like this and we can write binding dot toolbar dot setup with now controller now controller and config like this let's run our application and as you can see our fragments name is here and if I select if I click the go button as you can see we have a, a back button in here if I click this back button that means Android Studio goes to previous page and see fragments Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video can help you. See you next video.